Hello and welcome to the Utilita Arena in Birmingham for our continuing coverage of the 112th All England Championships. Plenty of shocks yesterday and on day two, the quarterfinals are only one match away. We're down to four courts. We had five operating yesterday, 16,000 seats in. Here's our lineup. Kicking off with men's doubles, the 2020 Time Masters champions Ong and Tio, they face Indonesians Fikri and Maulens. That's followed by world number one, Tai Zhu Ying, the Olympic silver medalist. She meets Tai Busanan on Bangrampan for the 14th time. Then we've the chance to assess the form of men's world number three, Anders Antonsen. He faces the exciting young Indian, Lakshya Sen. Back to the women after that, as Japanese Nozomi Okuhara continues the defense of her All England title against former Asian junior champion Han Yue. And our fifth match is a potentially thrilling men's doubles. World champions Hoki and Kobayashi take on the popular home pair, Lane and Bending. Five more matches after that. You'll be in the company of Jill Clark and Steen Pedersen for these five. Pretty much something for everyone, including uh, Lee Zixie, number six seed in the men's singles. Ellison Smith will be cheered on by the home crowd in the mixed doubles. They're the sixth seed. And our swan song features the number seven seed on the men's side, Jonathan Christie. My name's Trevor Harris. Alongside me is Morton Frost. And we are pretty much ready to go here. Now, that is the World Tour Finals trophy. We'll see that presented in December, the conclusion of the season, but there is plenty of prize money and trophies up for grabs here. One million US dollars to be precise, one of the richest tournaments of the year in terms of prize money and one of the most prestigious Morton as well. Absolutely, it's been for years and years and years considered the best tournament in the world, even though when the, the World Championship has been introduced, everyone is looking to the All England. Well, there's how the men's doubles draw works out. We'll see that uh, Hoki Kobayashi Lane Bendy match later. But uh, they'll have to find out who they're going to play, and we'll know that very shortly because Ong and Tio and Fikri Molana is our first match on in just a few moments' time. And great to see the crowds back, isn't it? It really is. And they're only going to get bigger as we gear up towards the finals on Sunday. Slightly later start today. It's just gone 11 o'clock local time in Birmingham, England's second city. And the Gladiators are on their way for our open. This is the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2022. Please welcome the players on to court number one in the men's doubles. The number eight seeds from Malaysia. Oh, you see, a T.O. So it's going to be a fascinating uh, men's doubles for starters. It is the first meeting uh, between these pairs. Uh, on the rankings, uh, Mort, you'd make the Malaysians favourite, but we saw so, so many shots <laughs> yesterday. I'm not sure favourites really works in this Slam event at the moment. Does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, and please don't disregard the pair Slam. in the left T-shirts. They are very, very good at the Danish uh, Denmark Open in uh, October last year. They actually beat Gideon and Sukumoyo on the way to the in, in their tour at the uh, Denmark Open. And then, of course, they also beat Alfian and Alianzo in the Indonesian Masters uh, later on in the year. So they are a very good pair. They can play well. Yeah, so this might, this might be an exciting opener. We'll just set the uh, scene as far as day two is concerned. As well as the prize money I mentioned, there's plenty of ranking points up for grabs here. 12,000 to the winner of each event, incidentally. 
as well as the cash. 74,000 US dollars for the doubles winners. There's uh, Ong Yu Sin, he's 27 years of age now. Bronze in the uh, World Championships in uh, well, the, the back end of last year. And as I mentioned earlier, they were formerly the Time Masters champions as well. And they've won various uh, international events too. Places like Romania and Vietnam. They actually, uh, Thio Yi won a boys' doubles world championship gold with uh, Nelson Egg back in 2011. Yeah, very, very skillful player, Thio Yi, the one in the picture here. Extremely skillful. Just a year older than his partner at uh, 28. And on the other side of the net, we've got uh, Mohamed Shabal Fikri. 22 years of age. They won the uh, Hyderabad Open a couple of years ago, or three years ago now, actually. That's a Super 100 event. Won the Finnish Open as well. And uh, runner-up in the Belgian International last year. So there's kind of a little bit of form. Current ranking of 28 is their best, as you can see. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, they did really well in the Denmark Open in October 21. It was a Super 1000 tournament, and uh, they got to the quarterfinal. And on the way, they beat world number one, Gideon and Sukumoyo, but they lost that quarterfinal to Astrup and Rasmussen in three very, very tight games. Nicola Reed from England is in the umpire's chair for this opener. And she will be assisted by service judge Lovrich, which is actually a change from the uh, published programme. Typical English weather we had outside yesterday, absolutely bucketed down, much nicer today. And uh, nice and cool inside the arena. Now we are just about set to begin our coverage and we're going to be live with you obviously right through until the finals on Sunday. Ten matches for you today, ten more tomorrow and on Saturday, which is semi-finals day. Tui Yi and uh, Hong Yu Sin has been extremely consistent last year. They actually Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Mohamed Shurbo Fikri and Bagas Maulana, Indonesia. <laughs> on my left, Ong Yu Sin and Tio E. Yi, Malaysia. <laughs> Tio E. Yi to serve to Mohamed Shurbo Fikri. Love all. Play. Hey, so, first serving anger on day two of these championships. Oh. Victory and Mayana hoping to make a light and quick start. Oh. So far, so good if you look at it from their point of view. 2 0 up. Service over. A piece of judgment. One, two. Let that just drift wide. Exactly what Tui Yi did here. Of course, not the shot going into the net, but he will be the one that's sort of pushing forward, trying to take control at the front of the court for the Malaysians and uh, for the Malaysians to play while well, he needs to be successful. So he's sort of, uh, the game changer is the one that really sets it all up for his partner. I always think it's interesting when it's the first meeting between two pairs. So there's no history, there's no baggage. 
There's no kind of mental uh, superiority or inferiority either side. It's always interesting with the clash between Four, Malaysia and Indonesia. I don't know. You know, when it comes to rugby in England playing, who is who is the foe? Is that France or who is that? Or it varies by <laughs> <Yeah>. sport. <laughs> yes. You know, I mean, cricket it's Australia, football yeah. is Germany yeah. or Argentina. Yes, but you always but they have this clash, arch rivals between Malaysia and Indonesia when it comes to badminton. Yeah, I guess. I guess the. I guess the French so, would be over. rugby. I I think. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But I know, I know exactly what you mean. And yeah. that when nations are so strong at the same sport and they're neighbours or, or near neighbours, yeah. yeah, there's definitely a rivalry that fosters. And, yeah. and it's, it's a healthy rivalry most of the time. Of course. Denmark is having one with Sweden next door, so it's exactly the same. <laughs> He certainly, he certainly earned his, mo his money in that point on you, Sandy. He, he probably played 80% of the shots on that side so of the net. Over. Yeah. Five, There's four. a tendency that uh, Tiwi Yi is moving forward, of course, leaving a lot of hard work to be done by partner on Yu Sin. And, uh, if you look at it from uh, an Indonesian point of view, I think uh, Maulana really have to, to step up. He's the one with the big smash, and he can make a difference in this match. 50-plus shot rally, rally already in the uh, early stages of this opening game. 6-4. Service over. 5-6. So far, I think both partnerships are really holding back a little bit settling into the court um, they like to play fast and furious attacking but the slow conditions here in Birmingham is obviously making some of the players hesitate so, over. A bit. so they've not really been opening up yet but I'm sure it will come in let's say five six minutes time and it'll be a lot lot faster played there by Maulana. I love the way that he was playing that steep so smash over. towards Six the seven. end, trying to have a look at this one, into the feet of uh, Tiwi Yi, and that was a lovely play, really good variation of his attack. the sideline and there was a bit of a margin oh. for error there too so as we suspected so far pretty tight between these two pairs yeah. uh, that's a good save by on Yusin one more there Strong Eight, defensive seven. work by the Malaysians, however, all in vain when they lifted the last one out of the back line. Yeah, a bit ambitious. Service oh. over. Convinced Eight. it was oh. because of a very good service return by Ong Yu Sin, forcing the error. Oh. 
service over. 9-8. Really nicely played there from Tuigi. Not the way that he sort of took off the pace on the last shot. Service over. Nine ten. Yeah, decided if power wasn't going to get through, they try a little bit of subtlety. Yes, and that was really well played. And the Malaysians needed the point. Can't ensure. Ten all. Well, it really has been nip and tuck in this opening game. Just one more point until the mid-game break. Opened up the court really well to play the winner. Service Milana. over. 11 10. So the interval. narrowest of advantages to the Indonesians. Yeah, any of the two pairs that really create a gap, let's say four point gap, I think they will take this opening game. It's going to be tight, but can any one of the two pairs create that gap? I think that will be the winner of the first game. Yeah, I, I don't think there's been more than two points in it either way uh, up to this point. Neither pair's managed to kind of get away and exert what you'd call any any genuine scoreboard pressure. Cart one, 20 seconds. Cart one, 20 seconds. Thank you, coaches. Coach. Eleven, ten, play. I got some power into that. That was absolutely mullered by Milana. Great spring, white by the feet of his opponent. Good judgment. Well, uh, Service well, over. Sin. 11 12. Yeah, it was good judgment. He was standing three or four yards inside the back line. It was tricky. Also, really, really good return of serve. Over. And then, of course, 13, the third 11. shot we we're talking so much about. That interception there is really, really well played by Fikri. Yeah, if he can continue that kind of predatory instinct at the net, 14, 11. I have to say they'd have a good chance here. Yeah, it's now three points. Another one or two. I think that could be very decisive in this opening game. Out. 15 11. Service over. 12 15. and defensive work this time from the Indonesians. And finally, they had the chance and he missed it. Well, that's a pity from their 13, point of view. Uh, Malaysians won't be sorry about it, obviously, but as he said, they defended so resolutely. 
like driving a car home for hours on a difficult journey and then driving it straight through your own, your own garage door. an absolutely superb out. shot well uh, it we was called out it's yeah. a late call and it is going to be challenged yes but it looks out oh it's tight it's close i know well, as I you said yesterday we sit up here in yeah. the gods yeah nevertheless i feel it's out but all right let's see. let's see let's have a look hawkeye in action for the first time your eyes don't fail you do they more challenge i bet you were a good lever in One your day challenge remaining. I had a good eye yeah. I don't want to wait too much. 14 15. <laughs> Play. Oh. 15 all. Well, seemingly in the blink of an eye, they're on level terms again. Long and Tio. <laughs> Service over. 16 15. <laughs> Service over. 16 all. Yeah, this is anyone's guess, isn't it? 15 11, 15 all now, 16 all. Could go either way, of course. Could serve here from Ongi Sin. front of the court and that should be a winner he's got the power we saw it there and that was a fairly straightforward pull away but he's got the invention too we've seen so that over. in several 17, rallies including 16. that one yeah, but that, that was the shot yeah the shot down to the deep forehand corner of Tui that really did the damage from Fikri and he just followed up after that and finished it himself a really good play Placement from Ong Yusin, forehand side of Molana. Service over, 17 all. Good placement of that smash. Look at that to the forehand side. Got to turn around, play the forehand. Too late. Made a mistake, yes. Excellent pictures. String is gone. That was a good shot. Service over. 18 17. Hey. Had a few lengthy rallies. Well, it's been pretty entertaining opening game so far as we approach the conclusion. Indonesians narrowest of advantages, but big point for for them here. They get to 19-17, but they can't. Nope. Every so point from now on is obviously crucial. Yeah, 
well played, well set up by Maulana at the front. Service over. And look at the smash, 19, the stickiness 18. of the last smash from Maulana. This one here, and that gives a good opportunity for Park McFeekery to get into it. And interestingly, after what you were saying yesterday, there was no pretense of an apology there at no, all. No. <laughs> Not interested. I actually prefer that, you know. Play. Yeah, we discussed it yesterday. Yeah. Play. Ball's fair in love and war and net cords. So. <laughs> 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 left from on this in. Service yeah, over. Yeah, a steal. So let that go. Oh. Got it wrong. There'd have been two game points down. And it was a good lead. In terms and terms, well out. So, who's going to have the first chance of the game point? 19 all. Possible. Pick the winner at the moment. Well, they've been behind 20. for game most point. of this game, 19. but now Ong and Tio with an opportunity to steal it. He's relentless at the back of the court, Malana. Oh, if that's out, that's by left. Service over. 21. It is 20. out. Another game point for. On you send Tiwi of Malaysia. He needs to do a steady serve. Did well. Goal! It was a good serve attack on that return of serve 21. by Fikri. Oh. Really set it up nicely from the very first goal of that rally. The Indonesians completely controlled it. So the third chance here. Service over. For the men in 22, blue. 21. Take this opening game. Get the serve right. Last point they had for the game under pressure the whole way through it, pretty much. Oh, that's <laughs> a good variation. Wonderful play. Service over. 22. And also oh. the, the nerve to do that. It's a complete surprise shot. Yeah, a game point down. Yeah. Excellent. Happens when you've had three game point opportunities <laughs> and now your opponents get their first. They They'll normally take it. Take it normally They'll take it. Yes. Well, I have to say that the, the Indonesian pair, when they attack, they uh, there's more sting into it, and I think they play with better angles, more power, prepared to take more chances, and they probably deserve game. to win that. Knew first it was game. Gonna, knew it was going to happen. 24-22. And I think on the on First balance, Trubel, not Vickery, too many can disagree they didn't Malana, deserve that. They were leading for most 22. of it. They had the guts to save three game points. And they come through and put themselves in the ascendancy here against the number eight seeds, 24-22. <laughs> Tapi dia cuma bisa sodok antara dua dia sodok keras atau dia taruh atau dia paksa net lagi. Kamu jangan ingin konsisten di situ. Kamu dapat pasti cuma lewat dah. Tadi kamu lihat sodok kamu bisa batasin itu sudah selesai. 
Ingat itu, karena kamu saya kan bagus tipis. Dari tadi kamu menang ya, dari saya tipis itu tetap. Eh, itu dijaga terus ya. Tak, tak, Cart one, twenty seconds. Cart one, twenty seconds. Second game, love all, play. So, Ong and Tio looking for a quick start, having dropped that open game. The tightest of margins. Good work. Service Come over. On. One love. Sometimes, if you've won a, a tight opening game, as it was, you can maybe just lose a little concentration, let your opponents get away to a bit of a start. And that's the way of it, too, love. Service start call, wow. too high. That's the first one we've seen, service certainly over. in our first one, session yesterday morning. I don't yes. remember another one. No, we didn't have any service faults yesterday, and this is, of course, the first today. So, on our court, anyway. That's good. That's really nice and steep. It's good placement so from uh, Tui. And that's what the Malaysians really need to do a little bit more. The difference between the two pairs at the moment is the fact that uh, the Indonesians are better attacking from the back. More sting into it, more angles, better angles, more power. And that's actually making Four the one. difference, even though it was only 24 22. I still felt all the way that the Indonesian pair was playing a little bit better than the Malaysians. Been gone again. At a very inopportune time as well. Respect to that service fault. That's the service judge, and he looks through those those perspex blocks, and that enables him to determine whether the serve is above 1.15 meters. And if it is, that's illegal. Yes, we of course have got no chance sitting from here to see what he's seeing. So we just have to believe that that's the right judgment. Well, they are indeed off to a flyer here on um, Tio in this second game. Amazing how often that happens. Rock the opener, especially a tight one. I don't know whether there's just a maybe a greater sense of urgency from Seven one. the pair that lost the first uh, game, or whether I think Victory and Manana just maybe oh, maybe a fraction casual. I think the Malaysians have actually changed tactics a little bit. They're not lifting as much as what they did in the opening game. See, exactly that shot from Matiwi Yi, he's, he's trying so to play the, the block shots. 
at the net, despite the fact his opponent is standing there. And it's from a low position, but they have been very successful in this opening of the second game to do exactly that. So they've been changing the tactics a little bit. But that's awesome play by Maulana. That's really good. 3-7. I mean, he's, he's a total all-round doubles player. We, we've seen him at the back of the court. And uh, now at the front, he's equally adept. Yeah, wow. Look at that. Easy. Well played. Hugely impressive, Milana, so far. Well, they've clawed their way back from, what were they, 6 Five, seven, 7 one down now. Yep. Just a couple of points behind. And we see now the Indonesians are changing a little bit, trying to get at the top of the tape a bit more because they can see the Malaysians are playing in the net. So they're stepping one step forward, and look at that smash. Nice flicker, too. 6-7. Oh, the tactics is ever-changing, and I think that's one of the beauties about the game of badminton. Well, if they weren't focused in the early stages of this game, they certainly are now. Service over. And uh, Eight, on six. and Kiona, they've got a, a battle on their hands here. Oh, clutch of seeds out yesterday. Go, go. Well, really, they had uh, absolutely Seven. no Seven. right to win that Seven, point. Eight. They did. Great defence again. And then some solid judgment to let that drop long. It's one of the first mistakes seven, that seven. Nine, seven. Milan has made. Yeah, great anticipation from Tiwi. He knew that that shot come cross court. As soon as uh, Milana was forced to play the forehand. Ten seven. Great touch again. Service over. Eight ten. Oh, Nine ten. Saw here a very fine example. Two so over. Top 11 of the net. 9 interval. So a two point lead for Ong and Tio. At one stage had uh, a far bigger advantage in this second game. Mm. Coach Chimmy Wei has got a lot of work to be done. Part
eventually just tucked him up so much that the victory really just couldn't do anything. Oh, no. It was right in his body. Yeah, good interception, good work from Matu Yi at the front of the court. The steepness of the smash forcing Service over. To, uh, on, on your sin forward in that defensive shot, and that obviously made it very tricky for him. Good interception from Fikri at the front, but it will all set up by a partner Maulana at the back. Service over 13 10. Service over, 11.40. Lift too short, got what it deserved. Over. Yeah, good time for Tina to come to the party. Just got themselves a nice little gap here. Four point lead. Business end of game two. Yeah, it should 16, be sufficient 11. for the Malaysians to take the second game now. 16 11 up. <laughs> Didn't see him by that flag. Out. Well, that was uh, a little careless. Service over. 17-13. There is a lot of pressure on that service situation, so it's got to be absolutely 100% accurate, otherwise it will put you into a lot of trouble. So a lot of pressure on the serve, so sometimes... 18. Players are giving it a little bit too little and it's getting short of that service line. So it's, it's not an easy shot to serve. Lots of pressure. Yeah, I read the intention. It was a fast hole put away once he got there on. And now just a couple of points away from deservedly levelling this match. They have been the better pair in the second game. Nonchalant that was. <laughs> As usual, I was almost safe from uh, Twenty game points, thirty. Two e. This is normal style of play, but so game. efficient sometimes. So 21-13, and uh, pretty one-sided in the latter game, stages of that Olympic. second game. So we are going to have a decider. Twenty-one, thirteen. Game on. And Theo will be pretty pleased with their work. Yeah, 
，你覺得咁樣咁樣？其實有啲錢嘅都未收。可以，可以，可是你一等下多，你要你爭長啲嘅，多啲都唔知。講四分，我咩四分？有四分。啊，最多有多，你點都是不能夠講。啊，一樣，你你要全面拍拍做。嗯。爭長啲，阿阿阿先跟住就可以。哎，你的你的第三台记得，第三台记得不要太过去，是太长了，是不来啊？你给他给他做，给他做。我们去买一点点，没有办法，我的那个钱没有，因为也很，我太焦急了，太有钱，什么都忘了。嗯，把完整的整个讲一下。嗯，可是你想，我觉得你放他，尤其是别人好几点，你要自己做。所以，有时你可以特地给他，你做啊，让他去。那所以他现在接不到，还有点，还有点。Part one, twenty seconds. Part one, twenty seconds. Go. 
Well, that's a pity because he did the, the hard bit by getting there, by anticipating, and then just angled the backhand wide. I don't think that's a chance gone begging. the shot Seven, below eight. the tape and that was not easy. He did his best. Nine seconds. Between the leg shot, but it's just starting to exert pressure again. Fikri and Milana. Yeah, I know on the scoreboard there's not much between the two pairs. Nine seven up for the Indonesians. Somehow I feel and say not, that the quality of the two Indonesians is a little bit better. Yeah. Service over. They are more aggressive. And normally that's paying off. It's interesting you say that because sometimes the scoreline, you Unsighted. don't feel the scoreline tells exactly the full story. Unsighted. Yeah. Unsighted uh, line Unsighted. judge, so Hawkeye's going to adjudicate here. Yeah, it's actually the umpire that's unsighted. She's the one that's to call that one down the centre. Serving by Tui Yi. Nine all. Play. <laughs> Ten nine. So the last three points for the Malaysians and Tui Yi serving really well. So they've got a, a two-point lead with a bit of momentum as well as they go for the mid-game interval. And Ong and Tio having to really work against the Indonesians, but they have the advantage, albeit it's a slender one. Nine. 
lucky point what the two Malaysians and that was a bit of a miss from Maulana at the front of the court good serve again from Tui well defended that's a good play by Tui really did well when partner was on the floor From their point of view, after well, <laughs> down but not out, I guess. And unfortunately for them, went on to lose uh, the point after quite a lengthy rally, just wide, not by much. But it's the game of fine margins. Thank you. Yeah. Again, it's dropping below the tape and it's forcing Ongusin to play from a slightly disadvantaged position. And of course, they don't want to lift it, so they're trying to find the answers and thereby they make the mistakes. Service over. 13-11. Pair, forcing the Malaysian further and further back on the court. Defensive stance, look at that, is really quite far back on the court. And that's good play by Maulana and Fikri. Game decided off. takes another twist. We're back level again. Momentum seeming to shift one way and then the other. Unexpected miss from Tio. Oh, that's a good shot from Fikri. Very decisive. Cross court into the deep forehand corner. Look at this one. It's good play, Ong Yu Sin, completely stranded. And all these massive points now. But that exchange at the net was really something. Try to have a look at this. 
Good play by Fikri. Hong Yusin did everything he could not to lift it. Lost the battle at the net. Look how much it means to rate the action. 14. And just at the right time, they appear to have found another gear, Fikri and Milana. Yeah, the last shot from Fikri is really good. The way that he's able to get that shot all the way across the court is not an easy one to play. Very decisive, good play, good interception at the net. of shot in this match. Oh, yes, sorry, Tiwi had the chance. He played it long on the back line. And suddenly it's a four-point gap here. Service over. 15-18. He's been exceptional in this match. Just a couple of points needed now for the win. Doesn't get enough out of it. And had a very good chance there. Did not play good enough angles on Yusin. And then, of course, missing the last one. Really didn't get enough out of that one. So four match points for Fikri and Milana to take out the number eight seeds. Not quite yet. Service over. 17-20. That's a terrific performance. 21-17, you can see how much it means to them. And they are into the quarterfinals of the All England. Having taken down Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi, the number eight seeds are out. They have to give the Indonesians massive credit. Really strong in the latter part of that deciding game. It's a very good win for the two Indonesians <laughs> 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 oh,
deciding game. So next, it's the women's world number one. Tai Su Ying of Chinese Taipei.